Now, if you're tired of manually tracking each of your leads' individual campaigns or creating multiple campaigns based on each individual interaction or whatever it is that your leads are doing on LinkedIn, haven't replied, have replied, have connected, there is a simpler way that you can do it automatically. Now, many sales professionals still believe that many little manual adjustments is the only way that you can personalize at scale, but that's not the case nowadays. With Lemnist, what you can do is you can hyper-personalize your campaigns based on their interactions in real time inside of your campaign without having to do any of it. Manually. What do I mean by that? Well, it looks a little bit like this. They're called advanced conditions and it's similar to branching really, where if something happens, you can have a yes or a no side based on individual events. For example, if someone opens an email, then you can wait for one day and then have another email sent to them, or you can wait for one day and for example, visit their LinkedIn profile instead. Now there's many, many different ways and permutations that you can do it. You can adjust the waiting time. You can adjust the action, which is very important. You can say when a lead opens an email, yes or no, and then create the branch. You can change it to whether they clicked on an email. We'll come back to that in a second. Unsubscribed from the email, booked a meeting or accepted the invite. Any of these different things. And by that accepted invite, it's of course a LinkedIn invite. Now clicked on an email. I can give you an example here as well because I was speaking with someone about this the other week. Let's take this email here, for example. This has got a personalized video in it. And if someone clicks on this link, which is a pretty clickable link for want of a better word, because it's an animated GIF. If someone clicks on that, it's much, much more valuable to call someone after they've clicked an email like this because the conversion rate on leads that have been called after they have clicked and watched a video is far higher. It's roughly five times higher than leads that haven't watched a video and then you're calling them. So what it allows you to do is not only automate, but actually reach out to leads at their warmest points. And therefore, what are you doing? You're increasing the probability that you're going to book a meeting, that you're going to get a positive reply and the campaign success goes up. What does it look like then and how can you do it yourself? So here is a complex branch that you've got here. What it looks like is a lot of different actions, a lot of different possibilities. But once you've done it once, you can allow the campaign to flow on its own. All you need to do is you need to come down here. Once you click on this plus, you come over to conditions. So you've got your standard steps here, emails, LinkedIn, calling, blah, blah, blah. Then you've got your conditions. So actually the conditions allow you to have one of these steps and then have that if, yes, no clause within a particular time within it. So let's look at this example here. Let's say if the lead has a LinkedIn profile, which is yes, then what we want to do is we want to visit their profile. Then we want to connect with them, send a connection request one day later. Then and only then we're going to send them an email. What we can do is we can compare that with if they haven't got a LinkedIn URL, which will be the has LinkedIn URL, no thread. We can send them a email after we've sent them a call so we can wait for one day we can call then and only then will we send the email because there's no point in adding LinkedIn steps. It will just skip anyway or it will bounce. It will not be valid. Here is where you can test it out. And that's just a simple way that you can see the difference between two branches and you can even see which one's more effective. Now let's try something else. Now here's a problem I bet a lot of you are going through. You're waiting around sending people connection requests, but you're not actually sure who's accepted the invite and who hasn't accepted the invite. And this is where you can automate that entire process. So all you need to do is you need to choose this accepted invite by and here, if they have accepted the invite, then what you can do is perhaps send them a LinkedIn message and you can say, thanks for accepting. Be great to chat about blah, 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 whatever it is. And if they don't accept, then what you can do is you can send them an email because they haven't accepted your LinkedIn and automatically you can start that campaign. Or even what you could do is before that, you could say, let's add a call. And then one day later, we'll go to the email. So it allows you complete flexibility and it doesn't mean you have to keep tracking your campaign to see what's happening. Let's look at it in real time. If you are prospecting me, for example, here's a campaign. We've got the first email. Here's what it looks like in the review section, second email and so on. And then you get to this email here, which is just a test. And if this email is open within two days, yes, it was open within two days, you can send this email. And if it isn't, this is the thread that it follows. Now, again, why is that important? Well, if someone opens an email within a very short amount of time, it might be worth following up with them quicker because they're slightly warmer, they're more interactive and so on. Now, all of this might look a little bit daunting. There's a lot of different things going on. There's a lot of uh, branches, there's a lot of actions, but you only need to do it once and then you can leave it and track it in the analytics section. But if you didn't want to do it yourself, you can just duplicate one from this website here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this in the description below so you can click on it and find it very easily. And all it is, is it's a way for you to come here. You can check the campaign out, you click duplicate and then it arrives in your Lemnist campaign. So you can use it. 
you can take advantage of all the copywriting, you can copy and paste all of the automated LinkedIn steps, and you've got, of course, what we're talking about here, the lovely branching. So you can come along, take a look for yourself, see what you think, and it's all written for you specifically for a cold email template to book demos with hiring sales managers. Of course, you don't want to necessarily do that. That might not be your ICP. It probably isn't. You can see and you can copy and you can tweak it just for your own ICP. And that's a little bit easier than having a blank page because that's always the most difficult way. So I'll leave the link in the description below for you. Take a look, follow the link and try it out for yourself.